All right, so what is an alternative to an alcoholic drink? Okay, you're out there, you're used to drinking a glass of wine, you're used to having mimosas, you're used to having a couple beers as you watch the game on a Sunday afternoon, you're used to drinking champagne to celebrate something like a wedding or a birthday. So what do you drink if you're not drinking alcohol? What are some alternatives? Well, there's a very simple answer, quite frankly, and that is anything else. Anything else that isn't alcoholic. Pretty simple, right? It's not brain surgery. So I can spend 10 minutes if you want just going, this drink, this drink, this drink, this drink, this drink, and that's fine. But what's easier is you just find whatever drink you enjoy drinking that's not alcoholic, and then you drink it. Now for me, my drink of choice is this, okay? It's simply water, okay, water, ice, ice, and a piece of, whoops, piece of lime. It's so simple. Water, ice, and a piece of lime. Now, I don't just have the, the piece of lime like sitting over the, the edge of the, of the glass. I like to squeeze the lime into it and then stir it around with my straw. And that limey flavor, I just adore. It is delicious. I challenge anyone not to like that damn drink, okay? So water ice in a piece of lime is my go-to non-alcoholic drink of choice, okay? But guess what, here's the thing. You can change this to soda water, okay? You can change it to cranberry juice if you want. Cranberry juice. Just be eco easy on the cranberry juice or orange juice or pineapple juice. There's a lot of sugar content in there and you don't want to substitute alcohol for a lot of sugary stuff, okay? So just, just be careful about that. Um, you can do things like ginger ale or ginger beer, but there's a lot of sugar in that. So here's the thing. It's okay if you're, like if you're trying to quit alcohol and you substitute it for like soda or diet soda. Listen, it's not that bad compared to drinking the alcohol, but diet soda and soda is still pretty crappy. Like it's not good for you. Uh, in fact, diet soda, even though it has zero calories in it and they all promote this, um, it actually still creates an insulin spike in you, which makes you crave sugary foods like carbohydrates and things like that. So what's better is stick with water or soda water, okay? Mineral water is also good, not tonic water though. Tonic water has got too much sugar in it, okay? So mineral water or soda water, let me put this here, mineral water, mineral water. And then if you use water, soda water, mineral water as a base, then you can just explore and be adventurous and try different things. So I'm talking about cranberry juice. You could do a little bit of orange juice if you want. Again, just watch the sugar content. Um, if you, if you usually come home from work each day and your routine is to pour yourself a glass of wine to relax and chill out from the day, why don't you make yourself a nice green smoothie instead? And a green smoothie, um, I like, I'm gonna put some, some stuff in here. Kale, spinach, this is, the, this is the kicker, coconut water. Okay, coconut water is really, really good for you and tastes really nice, okay? Kale, spinach, coconut water. You can put some like frozen fruit. Now again, I say this, make sure you use the fruit sparingly because again, you don't wanna just be giving up alcohol and then all of a sudden you're just like feeding yourself sugar because there's a lot of sugar in, in fruit. So frozen fruit gives it a little bit of flavor. Make sure you put a lot of ice in there as well. You can also do coconut milk. Coconut milk is a really, really good fat for you. Um, but that is a really good smoothie. You can put some like chia seeds in there, things like that. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about, about this uh, in the Facebook group. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of smoothie drinks, you could have a green juice is really nice. But again, not all green juices are created equal or equally, whatever the correct grammar is there. My mother's an English teacher. She'd be shocked if I was getting my grammar wrong. Um, for example, you can go into a Whole Foods, which is one, supposedly one of the healthiest uh, grocery stores, grocery chains in America, and uh, you can buy a, a supposedly healthy fruit juice drink. And it says like, no added sugar. And then you turn around and look at the label and the ingredients, and it's got like 50 grams of sugar. 
So what do they mean by no added sugar? It means, well, they didn't add any more sugar to the sugar that was already in it, right? So you must turn around and look at the labels and make sure that those juices, which are supposedly healthy, don't have a lot of uh, sugar in them. Uh, if you stick to this, like a kale or a spinach or cabbage, these are, is a good source of greens. The coconut water is really flavorful. Almond milk is really good. Uh, as well. Again, this is a good fat. It get, keeps you away from uh, dairy, which some people are lactose intolerant, and sometimes that can, can hurt people. Um, but more than this, right, if we're, if we're talking about, um, you know, being out and about and socializing, whenever a waiter says, hey, can I get you a drink, please? Uh, sorry, what would you like to, uh, to drink? Or can I get you started with some drinks? You just very confidently look at them and say, yes, please. I'll take a water ice and a piece of lime, please. Or oh, yeah, I'll just grab some water, thanks. And then you smile. They don't challenge you. They don't challenge you at all. I mean, when they come up to you, they're told by the manager of the restaurant or the bar to make sure you get people drinking alcohol because it costs a lot of money. It's good revenue for the restaurant, right? But all you have to do is reply, yes, please, I will have a drink. I'll take water, ice, and a piece of lime. Or yes, thanks, can I grab a soda water with a splash of cranberry juice? Or can I grab a mineral water with a splash of orange juice? Okay, let me tell you something. This, you know how much this costs you at a restaurant or a bar? Zero. So soda water and a little bit of cranberry juice is gonna cost you something, right? That's an extra cost. But if you order just water, ice and a piece of lime, the cost is zero. Like I said, of all of this, I like this drink the most in terms of it's the tastiest. Soda water with a base and ice and a piece of lime or any of these kind of little fruit things squeezed into it is, is awesome as well. Uh, and again, if uh, at the end of the day you're stressed out and you want a drink to, to chill out or relax, make yourself a smoothie. It's a delicious smoothie. Kale, spinach, coconut water, frozen fruit. Just Google delicious uh, low sugar smoothies or non-sugar smoothies, for example. Because if you sit there and it's ice cold and you sip on that instead of a glass of wine, I mean, you're going to feel amazing. Not only will you feel amazing, but you're hydrating yourself. When you have the alcohol, you're dehydrating yourself. When you have non-alcoholic drinks, you're hydrating yourself. As long as there's a base of water or soda water, mineral water or coconut water. Remember, stay away from the tonic. A lot of sugar in that. So there you go. There's some, uh, some really cool alternatives. Um, if anyone asks you a question about what drink you want, whether it's a waiter, a barman, a friend, hey, can I get you a drink? Would you like a drink? Very confidently say, yes, please. I'll take a water ice and a piece of lime. Or just say, very confidently say, yes, thanks. I'll take a soda water or whatever. Just figure out what your non-alcoholic drink is, but just be careful that you're not drinking Coca-Cola or Diet Coke or a lot of it. Be careful about those sugary drinks, okay? Because it's one thing to say, I'm quit alcohol. I feel great. I feel amazing. It's another thing to then replace the alcohol and substitute it with like crap that doesn't serve you, okay? So do some, re do some more research if you want. These are my go-to drinks. And uh, yeah, get out there and try the these, these drink alternatives.